This chapter discusses first language development for the period from birth to 12 months. This chapter has three parts. The first part looks at infant perceptual skills, asking which skills are children born with to help them with the process of language development. How do babies use these skills to help them determine how to segment the speech or sign stream and break it up into individual words or signs? The second part looks at babbling in speech and sign. The third part is concerned with early phonological development. Before proceeding with this chapter, we will back up and discuss a chart that shows the progression of language development and the milestones observed for both spoken and sign language development. This timeline indicates different ages of the child from birth forward and the typical linguistic achievements of each age. During the first few months of life, newborns will produce cooing sounds such as ah or ooh and uncoordinated movements of the hands and arms. By the time the child reaches about four months of age, the baby will start to produce babbling playing with the pieces of words, syllables, and segments. This playing with sounds enables the child to build up phonological knowledge during this period. It is this period of babbling up to age 12 months that we will focus on for the remainder of this chapter. In the following chapters, we will see how the first words develop, how words combine into phrases, and grammar is built over the first few years. Now, we will focus on the first year and explore how infants play with the building blocks of language, the pieces of spoken and signed words. When babies develop language, they do not approach the task in the same way as adults learning a second language because they do not yet possess the same cognitive skills. So the puzzle of how babies develop language is a fascinating one. The challenge for babies learning language includes the fact that input consists of a wide variety of signals, only some of which are part of language. For example, the child may observe an adult producing signs interrupted by a nose-scratching manual activity. How is the child able to determine that some manual movements are part of sign language while others are not? Hearing children acquiring a spoken language face a similar challenge. The noises they hear have to be separated into those that are linguistic and those that are not. The child must also figure out from the stream of language pouring in how the different segments are organized into language. Spoken words contain sound segments that have to be discerned and organized. Signed words also have such sublexical components, including movements, handshapes, and locations. And the child must determine the inventory of components which regularly appear in a variety of signs in the language she is exposed to. These are the foundational components of language, just as are the individual sounds which can be combined in a variety of ways to make spoken words. The task for the child is all the more complicated because of the fact that sometimes pieces of the spoken or signed signal, which are physically similar, are treated as the same by the language, but sometimes these pieces are treated as different elements. For example, in ASL, the two and three handshapes look similar, but they are quite distinctive in the language. In spoken language, the sounds P and B are also physically very similar, but they are distinctive. They are used to identify different words. 
words themselves are not physically distinguished in the input. In regular speech, there are no apparent boundaries between words, but a continuous stream of connected sounds. Likewise in sign, there is no pause or obvious break between signs, but a continuous flow of moving hands. The infant must observe this continuous flow and decide where one sign stops and the next sign begins, over and over again. How is this done? There must be some cues the infant uses to notice these boundaries. Researchers are concerned with this question. What cues can an infant use to achieve this important task of pulling out individual words from the continuous stream? At a very young age, babies can discriminate between the faces of different people, such as distinguishing between mother and a different person. Babies can also distinguish between human faces and others that are similar, but not human. If presented with two drawings, one of which shows a normal human face and the other showing something like a face but with the eyes and mouth in opposite positions, babies can recognize the difference between these. This means that visual discrimination ability develops very early. Facial expression plays an important role in sign language. So, the early development of the ability to discriminate faces may help the child to break into the sign stream and start to recognize distinct facial expressions that are grammatical as opposed to those that are not. The baby begins to relate the facial expressions to their grammatical uses in language. Hearing babies are able to discriminate numerous types of sounds at an early age. For example, they can discriminate between their own mother's voice and that of another person. They can discriminate between speech sequences from their own language versus those from a different language. They can even distinguish between familiar and novel nursery rhymes. And they can tell the difference between classical and rock music. These skills can be seen at a very young age, days or hours after birth. How can children accomplish this feat at such an early age?